Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. With this video, I am going to start my lectures on Fourier analysis. I am going to leave the link of my previous lectures on signals and systems, network analysis in the description box. In lesson number one video of Fourier analysis, I am going to give a brief introduction and also if anyone is interested in online classes, please contact me. The mail ID is given in the description box. Fourier analysis is an important tool in signal analysis. It is named after the scientist Joseph Fourier. Any signal can be represented as a sum of simple waves mathematically like a sum of sines and cosine waves. In Fourier analysis, any signal is represented as a weighted superposition of complex sinusoidal signals. So the representation of signals and systems using complex sinusoidal, we call it as Fourier representation. Depending on the periodic nature of signal, there are four different types of Fourier representation. So periodicity of a signal means the signal that can be repeated at every particular interval of time. That property we call it as periodic. If the signal is not repeating, then we call it as an aperiodic signal or a non-periodic signal. So all the explanation to periodic and aperiodic signals are already given in my previous lectures that you can refer. Now, depending upon the nature of the signal, Fourier analysis is divided into four types. The periodic signals have Fourier series representation, whereas aperiodic signals have Fourier transform representation. Here, Fourier series corresponds to continuous time periodic signal, whereas discrete time Fourier series for discrete time periodic signal. Whereas, we have non-periodic signals also can be represented with the Fourier representation. If it is a continuous time non-periodic signal, then you can use Fourier transform and in case if it is a discrete time non-periodic, then we call it as discrete time Fourier transform. In short, discrete time Fourier series is called as DTFS, whereas discrete time Fourier transform is represented as DTFT. Coming to the applications, Fourier analysis is used in scientific applications, physics, partial differential equations, for solving, also number theory, signal processing, digital image processing, sonar, optics, cryptography, etc. This Fourier analysis can be used in network analysis. Suppose say if you are taking any network, it has some input and also output, right? So this output we call it as response response right so given any mathematical expression for the input signal a detailed network here suppose if it is given the Fourier analysis is very much helpful to find the expression of the system response very easily once the input and the behavior of the system is known then the output that means the response can be analyzed using Fourier analysis very easily. So the input may be here a periodic pulse or maybe non-periodic pulse. This is used for both the signals, periodic and non-periodic. Not only in electrical but also in communication like if you are taking any mod, uh, multiplexer, right, multiplier suppose say or modulator I can say that is one modulating signal, signal one and carrier. So generally these two are multiplied to get a modulated output. Right. So, suppose say the signal is any audio frequency signal. So, now you want to modulate it onto the carrier. Right. One method is just to multiply these two signals. That means the input signal and the carrier. Generally, this is a sinusoidal wave. Right. So, Fourier analysis enables us like the mathematical representation and the properties of the modulated output finding out all the Analysis of the modulated output is very easy if you are applying a Fourier analysis here. Not only this, when we are processing signals such as audio, radio waves, light waves, seismic waves and even images, Fourier analysis can, can be used like for narrowband components of a compound waveform 
concentrating them for easier detection and removal and also a large family of signal processing techniques consists of these Fourier transformation techniques for manipulating the data and retrieving the correct information and some of the examples are like equalization of audio recordings when you are using bandpass filters and also digital radio reception without any super heterodyne circuit and etc and also in signal image processing also that the input signal may be periodic or non-periodic but uh, this type of signal analysis is used for image processing and also cross correlation of signals x-rays medical application and many other forms of spectroscopy including infrared nuclear magnetic resonance etc uh, similarly sound spectrograms also uses this type of Fourier analysis only then for more videos please do like share subscribe to our channel let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box thank you